Karen jijini Nairobi. Naibu wa Rais Daktari William Ruto akachukua fursa hiyo kunena na wanaopania kuania viti mbalimbali mbali kupitia chama chake cha UDA ifikapo mwaka 2022. Feedback we will carry from this meeting. Akisema kivumbi sasa ni kati ya wanaojitafutia vyeo na walala hoi na yeye yupo tayari kupambana na ondebeni. It has now been framed. It is between the coalition of political leaders on one side and the alliance of the people on the other side. It is about the people who want to prioritize positions as to us who are, want to prioritize job creation. It is them who want to prioritize changing the constitution. We want to prioritize changing the economy. It is them who want to prioritize sharing power. We want to prioritize empowerment of every business and every farmer. So the contest has been framed and we are ready for this contest. Akachukua hafusa hiyo kutoa makataa ya kuwa kila anayewania kiti ifikapo mwaka 2022 ni lazima awe na shahada kutoka chuo kikuu. We are huge supporters of education but only 1% of Kenyans have a degree it is not fair to limit the leadership of Kenya into only 1% of the population so i think i think it's just a fair it is a human rights issue that let us give everybody a chance and na kuwa amna haja ya kuwafungia walio na elimu ya chini kuania viti kwani siasa ni weledi wa kiakili ya siasa it is not a requirement that you have a degree in political science it is just any degree so which means it is not a qualification so it's just an impediment you know that that is that is unnecessary sehemu ya 22 ya sheria za uchaguzi inayopendekeza kila anayewania kiti katika ngazi zote sita za uchaguzi ni lazima awe na shahada ambayo haikutumika mwaka wa saba itachukua mkondo wake katika uchaguzi ujao kulingana na mwenyekiti wa IBC wa Fulacha Bukati Quinton Musyoka Undugu TV